Leos! Welcome to the rest of 2019 love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And also welcome to Water Baby Tarot. I don't know why that never like really cemented in my brain to say that shit. <laughs> anyway, hey guys! Um, you can also find other content of mine on Vimeo, Patreon. Bit shoots the same. I, forget, I always like I'm forgetting one. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter as well. But anyway, let's just dive right in, Leos. So, <laughs> Leos, I heard go ham in the meditative session. <laughs> someone's flaunting someone's flaunting someone's feeling really good someone's getting a lot of attention and they like it it feels very leo like i have to be honest leo it's like that's your trademark flaunting it okay and if you're feeling it you're feeling it it is the holiday season you guys could be just around a lot of people right now okay why did i just hear mac and cheese that's weird i just heard mac and cheese get your mac and cheese on i don't are you guys craving mac and cheese that is so weird now i can't stop hearing it okay anyway try to get out of that um leo's Someone could also be trying to impress you. I, I did see a peacock. I did see a peacock. That's usually a very, very flaunty, look at me, I want your attention kind of energy. And Leo, I honestly, I think you're loving it. To be honest with you, I think you're loving it. You could be doing this with someone and they're definitely loving it if you're doing this with somebody, okay? However, I did also pick up on a shutdown. Not with the, not with these energies. Felt It felt like a different energy that you're connecting with or a different person that's trying to connect with you. I definitely felt a shutdown, almost like someone has retracted their energy or someone has just decided I'm not going to give to the situation anymore. I'm only going to be giving to myself. Um, this person who's decided to do the shutdown is being perceived as very selfish, okay? Could even be perceived as someone who ghosted, whether they actually did or not, but they, they're being perceived as selfish. However, I gotta be honest, it feels like someone made this decision to stay on the path they're supposed to be on. That's how it feels. It feels like someone's sticking to their purpose, their path, their destiny, and to stick to that, they had to shut something down. Sorry, Leos, if you got shut down. I just, that's just what I was picking up on. Um, I did also hear you can't come in. I did also hear that you can't come in. Maybe someone's trying to bombard in your room or bar bombard in your room. Interesting. <laughs> Barge into your room or something or into your house and you're just like, get the fuck out. Like, you know, some of you could be doing that, but that was interesting. Uh, yeah, don't come in. Like, you can't come in. Don't come in. You can't come in. Don't come in. That kind of energy. Uh, I do feel like it's the person you shut down. You're trying really hard to keep them out of your space, either energetically or physically. I did also see a lizard. I did also see a lizard. To me, that's like, that's very... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't like lizard energy. I don't know why. I can't even explain it to you. Like, Lizards are cool. I just, uh, there are actually fascinating creatures from a total nerd standpoint. Um, I just feel pesty energy with it when it comes to that, Leo, for you. I just feel pesty, 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 pesty. Ooh, ooh I just saw the buffalo. Okay, so Leo's, you got some abundance coming your way. You've got a fort, though. Sorry, I'm getting all kinds of messages for you. Um, you've got a fort around you, either energetically or, or maybe you just built a house with a fort. I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt that. If you've got a fort, I want to see it. Um, yeah, it's energetic. And I feel like it's for this one person that you shut down. Again, someone could be doing this to you. But yeah, it's just like, you can't come the fuck out. Like, stay the fuck out. You can't come in. It's like, it's very, it's making a statement. It's making a statement. It's almost like you're having a Christmas party and that person is like, like literally sitting out in the snow. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's that kind of energy. Um, but anyway, Leos, other than that, you're flaunting. You're feeling good. People are paying attention to you. And you're really liking it and you're going ham apparently okay so let's go and get go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle excuse me i know i've got so much to say it just wants to come pouring out of me right now ah. losing 40 messages of true feeling and love for those who need it for leo sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the rest of 2019 Please bring forward any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it for Leo. So I'm going to see Venus and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Ew. Leo, some of you are doing this to someone who's trying to enter your dream space. Ew. 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 Yeah. That's only going to be for a handful of you. You'll know. You'll know that's you. You'll know. Either you've already seen them in your dream space and you're like, I really need you to get the fuck out. You're doing whatever you can energetically to keep that person out. Um, that's, again, only a handful of you. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Family, that's got to be a family member. It's got to be a family member for the dream person. I know I'm talking a lot for the dream person. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Ah, oh, Leo. Oh, we got that damn Five of Cups. And I, I don't like this one in this deck. It, it always has a little bit of a sinister vibe to me. It's not just someone who's sad. It's someone who just is greedy as hell. Um, 
spite. I'm hearing spiteful, spiteful. Five of Cups energy, Scorpionic energy. I feel like that was the person you might have kicked out or, or said, get the fuck out. <laughs> like, you're not coming in here. Um, they're not even just sad. They're a little bitter. They're a little resentful. Harboring. They're just your harboring. They could be harboring this over you. Keep in mind, it's energy. So, Leo, this could be someone within your environment experiencing this. You don't have to be experiencing this directly, okay? It's whatever energy, whatever, whatever your energy touches regarding the people in your life, okay? Please bring for new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Tower in reverse. Yeah, you gave someone the boot. That's how it feels. Feels like you gave someone the boot. It's like, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. They're resentful. They're spiteful. They almost can't believe it either. <laughs> really? No wonder you gave him the boot, Leo. Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy. They were sneaky motherfucker. That's why. <laughs> Sorry. I'm very sassy today. I'm very I'm just really feeling my energy today. Um Yeah, I yeah, you kicked him out because of some sneaky shit. You didn't you didn't trust him. They either said something, did something, you found something out, and you're like I'm done. Don't get anywhere close to me. You could just view them as someone who's very deceptive. They could be trying to sneak back in. Four swords in reverse with the star in reverse and then the freaking devil. Yikes. They're obsessed, Leo. They're obsessed. They don't feel like it's fair. They don't want to be on the outskirts. They don't want to be kicked out. I do feel like they're going to try to sneak in to your from your... So you can pass your energetic boundary here, okay? So what I mean by that is either try to wiggle their way in back into your life. That could be just hitting you up persistently until you just cave. I don't see you doing that. Um, or trying to get to you through the people in your life. That's more likely. That's more likely. See so what else wants to come out? Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For some of you, this is purely family-related, not romantic. Good chunk of you. It is romantic, though. Please bring new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Please bring new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Mm, you done with this. You are so done with this person. You're so done with this person. You're, you're not interested. You don't have any emotions. It's like, it's actually very cold energy, Leo. And it, the fact that I've got the Seven of Swords, I don't blame you, okay? It must have been pretty bad. Especially if they're this, like, resentful. I feel resentment there. It's like, that's a little sinister to me. And they've got the Devil card, too, where I'm getting, like, that obsession to get back in. Like, yeah, I don't I don't blame you for feeling that way. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so that's the pre-shuffle. Let's go ahead and get into the actual reading here. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very general, okay? Messages come through for those who need to hear them. Uh, that's not always going to be you, okay? Uh, these readings can't be for everybody because I'm reading for thousands of people. So whatever needs to come through, like I said, is for those who really, really need that message. So if it's not your message, it's okay. Don't get mad. Don't throw hate. Don't throw shade. Please support those who resonate with this message, especially if you're in the chat in the premiere, okay? Also, guys, it, it is energy, so just know that it can be reversed or vice versa. Energy is fluid. It's not linear. So if you have to switch the roles, that's fine. If it resonates, you know it's your story. Please don't try to make it fit. Uh, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Also, this is for the rest of 2019, but time is not linear either. It could be for any time period, past, current, or future, right? Uh, it could be beyond the timeline that I'm doing this reading for, and whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. All right, let's get into it. Any messages for Leo? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the rest of 2019? Some of you are kicking someone out of your home. Sorry, that came in really strong. Some of you are kicking someone out of your home or a family member is kicking someone out of their home. It feels very close, like family related or like roommate or spouse or partner. Very close, but it's like out of the, the home specifically. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hold on a second. There we go. Cards running away from me. Any messages for Leo? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Leo? Regarding love for the rest of 2019. Okay. 
We've got page of wands. We've got news. I don't know what is. I just got a lot of energy today. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just. I just feel like I'm 100% me today. Anyway, back to myself, energy wise. Okay, I'm done. Page of wands. Uh, news. There's news. I'm just getting news with that. It's good to at least one person. I don't feel like it's good news for everybody. It's good news to one person though. Someone might actually overhear a conversation. Mm, yeah, someone might overhear someone else's news. Someone might be eavesdropping. They might regret eavesdropping. Wasn't, yeah, for some, for some of you, you or someone you're connecting with or someone in your environment is gonna be eavesdropping. They're gonna wish they hadn't. Any messages? For Leo regarding love for the rest of 2019. Let's see what we got here. Oh boy, got a big old stack. Ace of Pentacles in a verse with the Ace of Cups in a verse. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Wow. Six of Pentacles in a verse. There's that shutdown. No longer giving to somebody. Taurian energy with the Knight of Swords. Gemini could also be air or fire. Very aggressively. Get out. I don't want the. Oh. Someone does not want an opportunity with somebody. And someone's being very firm in communicating that truth in a bit of a harsh manner. And then we have the moon. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. It's causing confusion. That's interesting. Uh, I just feel like whoever's receiving this and receiving this communication is not expecting it. They're not expecting it. They're not expecting it, but it feels very harsh delivery. A very harsh delivery of, I don't want you, I don't want this get out get out it's it's very harsh it's very harsh okay any other messages for leo regarding love for the rest of 2019 any messages for leo any messages for leo regarding love for the rest of 2019 this is I feel anger for some of you behind the side of swords. Leo, honestly, some of you, this is you. Any, and it, oh, it's based on the news. It's based on the information that's coming out with that page of wands. Any, any information, <laughs> any messages for Leo regarding love for the rest of 2019? God damn it. Sorry, guys. Two of Pence in a verse, Ace of Wands in a verse, and that Five of Pentacles. More of that. Sh you're really shutting someone out. Like, hardcore shut out. Someone gets some news. For some, this is via eavesdropping. And like I said, if like it's good news for one, but maybe not for like everyone involved because it triggers this. It triggers this. I don't want this. I don't want you. Get the fuck out. I don't like get away from me. And someone does not see it coming. It's like the person who's receiving this is like, what's the word? Blindsided? Blindsided. And that two of pentacles in a verse with the ace of wands in a verse and the five of pentacles. We've got three aces in a verse. This is a major shutdown major shutdown in a very harsh manner oh we're gonna look at it. i can't wait to look at this page once <laughs> uh, anyway no longer dealing with them dropping dropping them as any as as something they have to deal with and five of pentacles showing them the door do you see like even god this card is so perfect for this context look at that get out lock door get the fuck out it's that harsh it's that harsh overall energy seven of swords Mm-hmm. Underneath that, got the Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Someone could be finding out that someone's a player or someone's a cheater, that someone doesn't want to be here anymore. Like, someone's finding something out and it ain't good. It's around this kind of energy. Someone who's a little self-serving, someone who's not super honest in the way they move or communicate, even if they have good, in like, even if this person has good intentions, they're not honest in the way they go about things. And I feel like that's what's going to be biting them in the ass. And again, like that can happen. Like I'm trying to think of an example. Um, I can't think of an example. Like there are examples. Like think about, like look back on your own lives. I'm sure you guys can remember a time when you were like, oh, like maybe it's best I don't like say everything about the situation right now. Let me just see how things play out. Oh, I'm glad I did that. That really was the best case scenario. You know, it's like that kind of energy. Someone moves like this in their day-to-day -day life, this person. And I feel like that's what's biting them in the ass because there's news or information coming out and it's based off of what someone hid or didn't say. And I feel like it's causing this person to lose their shit. And I'm not saying this person had good intentions. I'm just saying it's possible. 
I feel like that, I feel like that's just this person's nature. That's just how they move. Whether it was good intention or not, that's how this person moves. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt because someone flips their shit real quick. And, some, and you know, I'm just saying, sometimes when we flip our shit really quickly, um, we don't have all the answers, right? So that, that's, all, that's all. I don't know why I feel compelled to say that. That might apply for some of you. Others, whatever they're up to was pretty damn awful. And you show them the door really quickly, okay? So I just wanted to make that. No. Okay. So let's look at this page. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> let's, let's look at this page. Um, hmm. Where's my Radiant Wise deck? Oh, there it is. Actually, where's my water? Sorry, guys. I know I've got a lot of energy and I'm all over the place. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. Radiant Wise it is. No oh boy. So I got the Page of Wands. I just heard Aries. So I got Page of Wands for Leo. So I got the Page of Wands for Leo. So I got the Page of Wands for Leo for the rest of 2019. So I'm at the page of wands for Leo. Oh, it's about love. But someone quickly decides they don't want love. Whatever this news is, though, it's about love. And a possible opportunity in love. This is getting interesting. Tell me at the page of wands. I mean, it's very clear someone is telling someone to get the fuck out or to get away from me. But this news is about someone in love. Talking about Page of Wands. Ew. Emperor in reverse. Mars, which is Aries and Scorpio. There's also Taurus for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. This is usually someone who's a patriarch or some kind of CEO or someone who has power, rank, someone who's built up a lot or been through a lot of things here, okay? this per Whoever this is, I feel like people go to them for advice. I feel like this information is about someone, it, someone's in love with this emperor. There we go. Let me put it that way. Someone's in love with this emperor. But they're an emperor in reverse, which tells me they're a bit controlling. Not exactly the greatest emperor energy. It's shadow. I mean, emperor energy upright. There's a lot of great qualities, but there's also even upright. There's some qualities that rub people the wrong way because they tend to be a little um, not super warm and fuzzy, right? They're very matter of fact. They get the job done. It is in the name of taking care of people and managing people and handling situations. But in reverse, it's shadowy. Um, I really hope this person's not manipulative. I just, I keep getting a controlling factor here. I feel like this emperor keeps a lot to themselves. I'm starting to feel like this is the emperor's energy. So I have the page of wands. Interesting. Three of cups, Cancerian energy. Could this indicate a third party situation with the seven of swords here and someone saying get the fuck out and someone who's very United Wansy? It's very possible here, okay? Um, could also be about a reconciliation. I don't like the feeling I'm getting from it. it it's, 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 it's making me very anxious. It's almost that energy of like, like as you're hearing bad news and it's just like, you know what I mean? It's like your body starts to process it. Like you start to feel the bad news physically. You know what I mean? I'm just not liking that three of cups very much. Tell me more about the page of wands. Yes, it's about someone who's in love with the emperor. Someone who's in love with the emperor. Someone's in love with this emperor. I don't know why they keep wanting me to say that. I feel like the person getting the news is the person who's in love with them. And we have a king of pentacles. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. King of pentacles is usually someone who likes to provide. Someone who likes to show up. I'm feeling two different masculine energies now. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling two different masculine energies. This is oh, this is getting juicy, Leo. And like I said, someone's flaunting. Someone's flaunting. In the I just heard in the yeah, I just heard in the running. Yeah, guys, this is a third party situation, and we've got two masculines on the board now. And someone's about to flip their shit. Talking about the page of wands. So I got this page of wands for Leo. I know. I'm like, it's so suspenseful, right? I can feel your guys' energy like, what's going to happen next? 
tell me about the page of wands. It's making me nervous. I don't like that. Tell me about the page of wands for Leo for the rest of 2019. Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, Confusion. You know, I'm getting confusion with that, confusion with that. Someone might be finding out that someone's got options. Play more with the Page of Wands. <clears throat> Keep in mind, masculine energy doesn't have to be both men. It's just two masculine energies, okay? So I'm at the Page of Wands for Leo. Oh, shit. So I'm at the Page of Wands for Leo for the rest of 2019. Sorry, guys. Ten of Wands, Sag energy, overall energy. We do have three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy here. Underneath that, we've got Judgment in Reverse with the Five of Cups. Yeah, whatever this news is, guys, it's like... It, it feels like it's information about a third party. And this King of Pentacles quickly becomes overwhelmed. Quickly becomes overwhelmed by the news they hear. I feel like there are two men involved in, like two masculine energies involved in this, possibly two men. Any more, I, I want more information on this. Um, I'm gonna use the Lenormand deck for this one. OG Lenormand deck. Tell me more about the nature of this news. Tell me more about the nature of this news. Yeah, it feels like an energy of like there are two masculine energies and one's getting chosen and someone's flipping their shit in the midst of all of this. Do I remember the nature of this news? <laughs> news. <laughs> With a seven of swords attached though. Do I remember the nature of this news? Wow. Wow messenger with the nine of cups it's like news of communic this is interesting it's it's news of movement news of mo movement and communication communicate communicating what someone wants and they're moving towards what they want yeah this feels like someone deciding between two masculine energies and the choice has been made the broom sweeping up the truth cleaning up the truth truth will be revealed with the knight of wands tell me more about, uh, tell me more about the nature of this news Tell me more about the nature of this news. Oh, well, I'm not taking that card explosion. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like this king is finding something out. I feel like they're the ones finding out. They're feeling the burden of that. They're very overwhelmed by that. Seven of Cups can also be overwhelmed emotions as well. It's almost like they're finding out someone's in love with the emperor energy. Tell me more about the nature of this news. Tell me more about the nature of this news. Oh, shit. Mm. We've got the flowers with the ship, ten of swords and the queen of swords. There's an ending happening here. There's an ending happening here. The ship is movement. It's moving away from something. It looks like someone's moving away from a queen of swords energy. Queen of swords energy. It is a feminine energy, but it can be a man. Okay. Queen of swords is someone who understands what they want. And understands and is very clear in what they want. Truthful. Someone's moving away from someone and someone's finding this out. And I feel like it's actually through eavesdropping. I don't feel like it's direct communication. I, yeah, I feel like this person's overhearing it. This person's hearing it from somewhere or someone. And they're just kind of in awe. And then overall for the Page of Wands, we've got the female. With the house and the sneaky box. And the communication card, the birds. Yeah, sneaky communication. Sneaky communication. Yeah, someone's finding out that someone's been talking to somebody. Sneakily. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, this sucks. And whoever's finding this out is a very loyal person. A very loyal person. Because they're a king of pentacles. King of pentacles shows the fuck up. Oh, man. Okay, Leos. I know, got heavy real quick. Let's go ahead and look at this further. Let me pull these cards out of here. Let's look at this energy where someone flips the tables, okay, and retracts their energy. Uh, let's look at the Knight of Swords. God, I'm like, now my heart's all heavy. I'm gonna use Rider Wait for this one. Time with the Knight of Swords. 
for Leo for the rest of 2019. Toy with the Knight of Swords. Toy with the Knight of Swords for Leo for the rest of 2019. Toy with the Knight of Swords for Leo for the rest of 2019. The lovers. Gemini energy. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this is making a head of a hard decision, but it is also about a, a connection here. A very intense connection. Yes, whoever got caught, I mean, literally someone's getting caught because someone's hearing this, right? So someone's hearing that someone is in love with another person and someone has been talking to them secretly. And with the home, it's someone who is very close to someone's heart or who lived with someone, like I said, kicking someone out, right? Um... Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, this King of Pentacles is finding out someone that they most likely live with. A feminine energy has been sneakily talking to an emperor, an emperor that they're in love with. And I feel like someone's getting kicked out in the process. Tell me about Knight of Swords. Tell me about Knight of Swords. Yep, four of Pentacles in a verse. Letting that shit go. Get the fuck out. Tell me about Knight of Swords for Leo. For the rest of 2019 and you don't have to live with this person but i feel that kicking out energy so intensely um it could also just be like i said someone who's like really close someone who's really close and because we have obviously got three people here leo you could be any one of these people or this could be happening to someone in your life talking about knight of swords talking about knight of swords for leo for the rest of 2019 oh too many spirit too many talking about knight of swords for leo about Knight of Swords for Leo. Talk about Knight of Swords for Leo. Magician. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini. It could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Magician can be manipulation. Upright, it's usually um, healthy manipulation. In this case, uh, I don't know. Someone might have been manipulating the situation for a while. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Leo. Shit. Wow. World in reverse with the Page of Wands. That news ends this cycle. That news, that information that gets told to this uh, King of Pentacles, that's it. That's all they needed to hear. That's all they that's all they needed. And they fl and they flip out and get the get the fuck out. Overall energy, King of Swords, full clarity on the situation now. And we have the King of Swords, Queen of Swords here on the board. So there is a true pair wrapped up in this. Um, whichever way you cut it but this king of swords king of pentacles they're the ones finding out this information this information that's like well that's all i needed to end this cycle um and tells this other person like you want that emperor so bad you get the fuck away from me and you go and get that emperor in a very very aggressive way very aggressive oh yeah now we move on to here that kicking out energy that total shutdown shutting out energy so let's look at the five of pentacles Oh, I know this is kind of serious. <laughs> I, I kind of had a little fun in the Gemini reading, but this is like, this is really heavy. But we'll take a look at the Five of Pens. Let's do Cosmic. Talk about the Five of Pentacles. Talk about the Five of Pentacles for Leo for the rest of 2019. Talk about the Five of Pentacles. Now, like I said, I, I feel like some guys are, are, are confused on the cards that I'm telling you and the gender stuff. Don't worry about the gender of the cards. We, we just have the key players here. Someone who's been in love with someone that they've been talking to secretly. And the person that didn't know about this is finding this out and kicking that person out. Or getting rid of them and showing them the door. Like, you're going to talk to someone in secret. You want that person so bad? Get the fuck away from me. That's the, that's the gist of what's going on here. So don't get caught up on the card, on the court cards. Talk about Five of Pentacles. It could be between three men, three women, two men, one woman, two women, one man. Talk about the Five of Pentacles. Those are all the combos, yeah. <laughs> I had to think about that. Talk about the Five of Pentacles. 
So I'll get the Five of Pentacles for Leo for the rest of 2019. So I'll get the Five of Pentacles. Two of Cups, Can't Serene Energy. So yeah, like I said, a true mate, a true mate. Oh, um, we had a King of Swords and a Queen of Swords. So a soulmate energy, a soulmate connection is here on the board. So I'm at the Five of Pentacles. Ooh, we've got Temperance, Sagittarian energy, an energy of time. Time and healing. Healing will happen. It's going to it's gonna take a while, though, for, for everyone to heal in this situation. So I'm at the Five of Pentacles. This shutout, though, and... I really hate to say this to the person who's going to be finding out this news. Um, you shutting them out is going to allow them to go, go towards the person that they were speaking to in secret to be together. Tell me the five of pentacles. That's going to be for some, not for all. Depends on the details of, of your personal circumstance, if you're resonating with this. Seven of cups in reverse. Full clarity. Full clarity on the situation. Tell me the five of pentacles. For Leo, for the rest of 2019. Ooh. Ooh, almost whistled there. Hierophant, Taurian energy with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, clarity is had now because someone's tapped into their higher self. So all of the illusions, Ace of Swords in reverse, all the illusions that had taken place are now known because someone is now connected to their higher self. I'm also getting a commitment was a lie. A commitment was a lie. Could have even been a marriage. Tell me about Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles for Leo for the rest of 2019. Yeah, guys, this is kind of a blessing in disguise. Tell me about Five of Pentacles for Leo for the rest of 2019. Oh, yeah, this is a blessing in disguise. As horrible as it is, right? Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy with the Four of Wands, Aries energy with the Queen of Wands. More Aries could also be fire or water. Uh, stability will be had. Stability will be had and someone will most likely be entering into a very stable relationship, even if it was developed in unfortunate, deceptive circumstances. And no more fighting or competition or conflict will take place. Over energy, we do have the world. So a whole new cycle starting, like I said. This news is all that needed to be heard. This information given was all that needed to be heard. To end a cycle here between two people who were together under for the wrong reasons or under false pretense and one of those people who were speak who was speaking to someone else in secret who they were secretly in love with they're gonna go off and be with that person most likely wow okay Oh, all right. So sorry, Leo. That like that really weighed heavy on me. That was like a lot of heavy information. Um, so let's pull some oracle cards. I want you guys to know, like, hey, I know this is not awesome way for this shit to happen, but it is a blessing in disguise. Two people who clearly should not be together are not going to be together anymore. You don't want to be stuck in a relationship with someone who's going to be doing that to you, right? You don't want that. And for the person who's been secretly talking to that other person. Whatever's going to happen with them is going to happen with them, right? And for if you're the one getting left behind, it's not your karma to worry about. It's theirs, okay? Um, you're going to have to deal with the healing part of it, and their healing will be had. We have temperance here. Healing will be had. I know it sucks. This was a very, it feels like a very traumatic way for all this to happen, okay? Um, but I do feel like this news is going to be given, honestly, via eavesdropping. That's kind of how it feels. Um, I don't think someone's going to have the balls to just say it. I really don't think so. Not the way that all came out. Not the way that all came out. Um, let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards. Okay. All right. Trying to lighten the mood. I'm trying to lighten the mood here. Uh, let's see. What energies will be best for my Leos to harness? Using the goddess deck. Sorry, I'm still really sucked into that. Um, using the goddess deck. And my gods, you can use this energy too. What energy should my Leos harness regarding this spread? What Leos? I just heard courage, actually. Very fitting for Leos. What energies should my Leos harness regarding this spread? What energies should my Leos harness regarding this spread? 
see here. Ooh, inner goddess, Aphrodite. I actually really like that. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Oh, very, very nice, Leo. What other energies should my Leo's harness regarding this spread? What other energies should my Leo's harness regarding this spread? Ooh, ooh, <laughs> that is so not what I saw initially. That's interesting. Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Well, someone definitely is. <laughs> someone definitely is. What energies should my Leo's harness regarding this spread? And you know what? She's holding a heart, a heart of flame. Very Leo. What energies? Oh, Jesus, we got two more. Yeah, Leos, you got a lot of advice here and energies too that will benefit you, okay? You got five cards in total. Um, the other two that came out, we have Bast. Everyone's getting this one. Everybody is getting this one. Independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. I feel like that really goes hand in hand, hand, in hand with the don't back down. Then we have It Shall, Medicine Woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. Like I said, there will be healing, guys. There will be healing in the situation. And on the bottom, we do have Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Well, someone's definitely doing that. <laughs> right? That's very, very swift right there. Uh, we're going to go in alphabetical order. Actually, is that the order they came out in? Oh, almost. Almost. Let's see. Okay. Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Allow your, allow your inner feminine wisdom and dynamic beauty to rise to the surface. Cherish its power and meaningfulness. No matter whether your physical body is male or female, you have an inner femininity that nurtures you and guides you with its intuitive principles. Now is the time to become aware of, take excellent care of, and celebrate your magnificence. Balance your male energy with your female energy. Take steps to heal your sexuality. Enjoy being feminine. Dance more often. Be receptive. In relationships, allow your softer side to come forward. <laughs> Don't hide your femininity. Dress in a more feminine way, for example. Aphrodite is the Greek goddess of passion and love who's associated with the planet Venus. Aphrodite's name means foam born. As legend says, oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is like, oh, that was a nasty visual when I last read this. As legend says, she sprang from her father Uranus's castrated genitals, which were cast into the ocean. Thus, Aphrodite represents an unab unabashed female sexual energy. Aphrodite helps women feel comfortable with their bodies and sexuality. She helps both genders to experience more passion in their relationships and to become more balanced as far as individual male-female energy is concerned. Ooh, now we have Athena's next. Athena. Inner wisdom, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. I'm happy to assist you. However, you'll be most thrilled when you first consult your own inner bank of knowledge. For I assure you that the situation is already resolved and that you have access to all the wisdom that the universe supplies. To access this wisdom, you must quiet your mind. Surrender all worries and other concerns to the loving and almighty power of the universe. Close your eyes and note the thoughts and feelings that come streaming into your consciousness. If you like... You can ask me to give you a signal that you've heard your inner wisdom correctly, but have faith. I assure you, turning the page, that you have heard, that you have heard, and that the guidance brings you and your loved ones very good news indeed. Wow. Like I said, that news ain't good for everybody. Definitely not good for everybody. Well, good, right? Stop procrastinating. Stop giving away your power to others. Trust your gut. Don't second guess yourself. You are correct. Notice recurring ideas and take action on them. That's definitely for the person who's going to be finding this news out. Yeah, because like when someone is stepping out like that, you know, you know in your gut when someone's doing that, you know? Athena is a powerful and wise Grecian goddess who oversees and protects those who call upon her. She's the daughter of Zeus and her power animals are white owls and black pigeons. Although Athena is a warrior goddess, she does battle with wits instead of weapons. You can call upon her for resolving disputes and also for protection. In addition, Athena helps with creative projects such as writing, arts, and crafts. All right, now let's go to the bees. <laughs> For those of you who, who watched Virgo, and I think it was Libra who got this too, you might be tired of hearing this one. <clears throat> oh, oops, hold on. Sorry, guys, I need a little bit of water. 
Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Fast, independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Like the cat, you're fiercely independent, yet you also need affection and playful companions. Now is the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for their opinions, ultimately you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities, so ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Spend time alone. Give yourself permission to play. Ask for your needs to be met. Make your own decision. Work with cats. Pay attention to your pet feline or get a new cat. So many cats getting adopted before the end of 2019. <laughs> the Egyptian goddess Baz transforms into a cat each night and protects her family and those who call upon her with her all-seeing night vision. She exhibits the cat-like traits of the feminine, which include gracefulness, independence, playfulness, and intuition. Baz also works with cat lovers to help their feline companions. The daughter of the sun god Ra, Baz has the rare distinction of being both a moon and a sun goddess. Which is funny, Ra, the sun right all right so let's look at Bridget and then we got one more after this I know it's a lot guys it's a lot but I think all of this is very very helpful for you guys and everybody involved if if everyone involved watches this <laughs> Bridget don't back down stand up for what you believe is right first be quite clear about your intentions if you're unclear then confusion will lessen your power and sorry I'm getting a download the person that was sneakily talking to this other individual I actually feel like that's either stopped or slowed down significantly sorry that just came in really quickly if you're unclear, then confusion will lessen your power and force. Like a candle in the dark, be very clear and bright in what is acceptable to you in this situation. Make no mistake. I will guide and protect you. And yet, think of the unparalleled rise in your own, view, own viewpoint if you are to stand up for yourself and speak up about your needs and your deepest truth. Now is the time to touch your power. For its heat and flame will ignite your passion, which will propel you forward into count, in, in countless ways, even in the face of fear. You can stand still, you, Jesus, you can still stand up for your ideals and your truth. Be unwavering and make your stand today. Be assertive. Don't worry about what others think. Trust that your actions will work out fine. Speak your truth. Stick to your opinions, but your, put your foot down. Bridget is a Celtic triple goddess, which means that she represents three aspects of, of woman. The young virgin, the nurturing and loving mother, and the crone sage wise woman. Bridget is a fiery goddess who tirelessly protects those who call upon her. And she's a feminine counterpart to Archangel Michael's warrior energy. Bridget, oh, oh that's interesting. That just came through. Bridget's temple is in the Kildar, is in Kildar, Ireland. Sorry if I mispronounced that, guys. She's celebrated worldwide on February 1st, the ancient sacred day called Imbolc. I think that's how you say that. Which marks the beginning of springtime and increasing daylight. Wow. God, you guys, there's a lot of information to take in. I really feel like most of this... Well, I think a lot of this is for the person who, like, is part of the secret communique, like, on the other end of it. Why do I feel that way? Oh, it's both. It's both. No, it is everyone. It's everyone involved. It's mostly for that person, though. That's interesting. So maybe... Um, Maybe some of you were talking to someone and they were actually with someone and you're like not dealing with them that much anymore. Situations coming to a head. Like I said, judgment day's coming. Judgment day's coming. It shall, medicine woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. Commanding power is not the same as demanding it. Demanding comes from a childlike place akin to a tantrum based upon the fear that it might be withheld. Commanding is based upon the sure and steady knowledge that you are a part of the great spirit's grace and wisdom. You're a lightning rod that can conduct the power. Simply connect to the power through unyielding clarity of your thought processes. Don't waver for a moment in your sure and steady decision to be a conduit of the power that already resides within you. Connect to an even bigger source and allow it to amplify your natural power. In this way, you're a steady connector of the infinite from the infinite and to the infinite in other words it's all spirit around you through you and to whomever you're healing you're a healer you're being healed the situation in your loved one is being healed honor your healing knowledge and abilities learn about healing teach the healing arts start or continue your healing practice it shall has been revered since ancient times as the mayan moon goddess who with her husband the sun god gave birth to all the other mayan gods God, that sun god reference again. Uh, as the embodiment of the moon, its shell is intimately connected to the tides of the water. She's believed to control rain flow and all aspects of water. In fact, she's called Lady Rainbow, 
as her essence is infused in the water droplet prisms that create rainbows. As a mother goddess, its shell helps with fertility and childbirth. She's also a powerful healer who remembers the origin of human life upon the planet. She can connect you to your foundational roots as a spiritual healer. Oh, guys, I'm going to show them to you one more time. Inner goddess, inner wisdom, independent, don't back down, and some healing energy, okay? Some major healing energy for everyone involved, for sure. For sure. All right, last oracle deck, and we'll wrap this up. This is advice. This is straight up advice. The video is going to make a second video in just a minute. I'm going to try to watch it. I'm going to try. Any last advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Yeah, I feel like however long the situation's been going on for, or even when it started, the person who's finding this news out, I feel like they knew. Something in them knew. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? I'm trying to watch it. <laughs> Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Too many. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Like, did I catch it? Here it be here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> there it goes. Hummingbird spe spirit be here now. 34 breaking down to a seven. This is this has got to come to a head now. Now. The, I, I feel like this is something that should have been revealed a long time ago. And these two that, you know, should not be in this should not be in a connection right here that are about to not be in a connection because this information's coming out it should have happened a while ago it's time it's time should have get off the pot it's time any advice for my leos regarding this spread any advice for my leos regarding this spread Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice? Ooh, dolphin spirit. This and that are true. Oh no. I just heard playing both sides. Oh God. Ah, playing both sides. I'm also getting that yes, you can love two people at the same time. I feel like that's part of the struggle this person had. I'm not trying to justify anything. Um, the person who was had the secret communique, they they definitely loved the person that they were talking to secretly, but I also feel like they still cared about the person that they were with. Um, they're telling me cared, not loved. Oh, okay. um, you can care greatly for two people, but definitely this person who was talking to the secret person, they love the secret person, without a doubt. They love the secret person. This is also representative of the lover's card for me in this deck. But it's time to take that leap. It, it's time. Th this connection has to end. I mean, you can't do that to someone you're, you're with and expect it to stay healthy or to even be a healthy relationship to begin with if you felt the need to step out of it, right? Yeah. Any other advice? But for the person who's getting left behind, they did care. They did care about you. And maybe once upon a time, they, they even loved you greatly. And sometimes things change. People change. Not all relationships are meant to last forever you know, but they do care about you. They do care about you. Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Overall, we have Coyote Spirit, Trust and Divine Detours. Yeah, this this little event of having this information overheard or being, being uh, given indirectly, it was divinely orchestrated because it was time. It was time it came to light. Judgment Day, guys. This is all Judgment Day energy. It was time it came to light. We even have, what did I say? Judgment Day. Remember doing a judgment in verse. The coyote is the trickster. They know the blueprint. They know the grand design. They know destiny. They know everyone's destiny. And they know where people are supposed to be and when they're supposed to be there. Or when they should be there. And when we delay our destiny, coyote tends to step in to cause little terror moments, to cause little mischievous, like, how did I how did that happen? How did I find myself in that situation? 
this overhearing of information, it feels like overhearing or being indirectly uh, attained somehow. It was divinely orchestrated. It had to happen so that this could come to a head and truth can be revealed. All right. I know it sucks. It really sucks. But it's really going to be better for everybody. It's going to be better for everybody. Everyone gets to have a whole new cycle involved, which is good. And healing will also happen over time. Okay. Leos, I know that wasn't like like the happiest, most cheerful reading, but I do hope that you found it insightful and I do hope that you also found it helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram and I will see you guys later, okay? Namaste and have a great rest of 2019.